See this right here. Microsoft research shows that 99% of breached accounts lack <laughs> MFA, but many organizations still treat MFA as a luxury rather than a necessity. No, sure. All right. So six password takeaways from updating this cybersecurity framework. I'm not going to read this way word for word because I've already skimmed through it. But one, it was talking about password length is greater than password complexity, which I agree. I think a lot of times they have us making all these random complex passwords that we can't remember. And so, for example, they said some people start their passwords with a capital letter, end their password with a number or a symbol, or swap common characters, which becomes easy for a hacker to guess what you were doing. So to help users create stronger passwords, this recommends enforcing password length instead of password complexity. Instead of asking users to come up with a random, difficult to remember combination of letter, numbers, and symbols, I urge them to create longer passwords or past phrases. That would be easy to recall, but harder for hackers to guess. The best passphrase combine unrelated words into a single, longer passphrase. For example, a passphrase like Llama Shoehorn Trumpet 7 will be much easier for a user to remember than a random password like HPN and for saying, I think that's what that thing is called, 89 asterisk K quote, <laughs> or maybe the quote's one part of it. And it'll be harder to hack than passwords that follow predictable patterns. I agree, though. Because I think the trend of that now is like we got all these password managers, so they make all these passwords to where you wouldn't remember it. What do you think of the pass key? I like it, but the thing it's is slow, slow. I like it. It's just it take a little bit of time. I like it, but the thing is, if somebody got your password and you're not paying attention, you pick your phone up and you use your fingerprint or your face or your pass key, and now somebody in your account. So you always gotta pay attention to that. Cause I it's been times like the other day. I was getting a prompt for something on like my Microsoft Authenticator or Outlook was giving me a prompt to accept to log in somewhere. And I'm like, that's not me logging in. So I always go to my settings and Outlook and go look at like who's trying to log in, which is a whole bunch of unsuccessful things. But I didn't see anybody had the right password and gave me a prompt. But to be safe, I just changed the password anyway. Period. Just because you just never know. Let's see. Facilitate longer passwords. To maximize the security protection passwords provides, your password policies must be able to accommodate long passphrases. This recommends supporting up to 64 characters, far beyond what most users will need, but highly important for those prioritizing maximum security. While longer passwords increase cracking difficulty, they aren't invincible. Even a 64-character passphrase can become compromised through password reuse or being stolen by malware. Of course, I'm not even going to go through the implement MFA. You see this right here. Microsoft research shows that 99% of breached accounts Lack <laughs> MFA, but many organizations still treat MFA as a luxury rather than a necessity. No. Okay. I think it's crazy that there's that there's a lot of organizations still today that you have to explain the risk that is present if they do not actually go through and implement it, especially for their administrative accounts. It should be implemented for everybody, but it absolutely should be implemented for those accounts. Yeah. And it's not for a lot of organizations. Tell me about it. <laughs> That's when you start finding out we start doing the risk assessments. Yep. Avoid frequent password changes. I think this is a big one. Like you got these organizations that always make you change your password just when you remember the last one you had. I know this one because I talk to customers about this all the time. You should only change your password if your password has been compromised. And how would you know if it's been, comp it's been compromised? Well, you're using some sort of password solution tool that will allow you to know that, hey, we found your password on the dark web. So they have that. Or if there's some sign-on risk with your account. So those are like the two circumstances. Well, you got that one. You can, uh, like you said, password solution. Or like I got, Aura will tell you if your, your data's been found out there. You can try, if you don't have none of that, you can try, uh, have I been pwned? Yeah. Frequently, just ch try that out. And it'll tell you if your password has been seen in some type of breach or whatever. And so that's the thing you want to do. And the funny thing is also about password breaches. If your one password got compromised, attackers are willing to bet that you Use reuse that, that password, password for other things. Yep. Yep. So that's a trap that you don't want to fall into. And it sucks because at one point in time, all you had to really remember was like maybe your social or something else. But now you got to remember all these passwords. You got to get the master password to get into the thing. You got to make sure you got your face right. and got enough light for it to work. It's like at this point, people are like, bro, I'm, I'm over it. Like it takes too much to be secure. It definitely takes a lot. <laughs> And this is so we already covered number five, really, like prevent the use of uh, already breached passwords. Yep. I think, is there one more? Yeah, it is. Yep. 
Check out password auditor. Hmm, okay. I didn't even look at this picture, but cool. Discontinue password hints and other knowledge based recovery. Yeah, because, okay. Because if, how many times is you going to put the password there or have the password there? Not even that, though. If I really want to get into your stuff and I'm like, okay, let me go through your Facebook and see how many times you brought up your pet or your first teacher, birthday, your first girlfriend, Off where you met at, your yep. first date. Like all this information people provide for you. Hey, we had our first date at so and so. It was love at first sight. So, shoot, forgot password. Hey, where was your first date? Cheddars. I, I think the original point of the password hints was to let you know. Like when I was working at PNC back in the day, I would know because it was it was a password hint and like a picture that you picked too. So let's say I accidentally was typing too fast and put in an extra character. I would see somebody else's picture, not like a picture of me, but like a picture I chose mm -hmm. that I would know like, hey, yeah, I chose that picture. Yeah, I think the best way if you want to use password hints is not make the password hints about you. Just have. In your notes somewhere, these are the password hints that I use, but this is not related to my life. So, hey, who's your, what's your first pet name? Pal. Or make it something funny like pal, because Clifford is easy to guess, but like something that's not related to you that nobody knows. What's your high school mascot? Exactly. Make it a school that you didn't go to. Yeah. What's your mother's maiden name? Why? Perry. <laughs> Password hints and security questions like these show their age. And this latest guide is urges organizations to forego, the, forego these traditional recovery methods because our online lives have made them obsolete. See, I need to read that. And we pretty much already covered that. Consider how much of your personal information flows freely on social media. What once seemed like private knowledge now sits in plain view, waiting to be collected and exported. In lieu of hints, this suggests alternatives like including secure email recovery links and MFA verification during password resets. These approaches allow users to validate their identity through physical access devices or accounts rather than easily discover easily discover personal trivia. The only issue is if your email is compromised, then they can do that. And then if they just MFA fatigue you and you just hit it, so I leave me alone. So they got to be like a timeout or a lockout so many times, personal accounts. I think that's the issue too. Like we don't see personal accounts with that. Like something that's not enterprise wide. Like if you're a customer, Google some, them. yeah, Google them and do it. Google hey. don't play. Put that password in twice. Is this you? Real mm -hmm. quick. Cool. They want people to use sick sick house password policy for free. Y'all can use R for free. Um, you know what I'm saying? Use my code. It's in the description and try it out for two weeks.